Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this hat. It's for boys and girls between two and five years old. I made it to match the little sweater that I showed you last week. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave the link to that tutorial. Now, this little hat can be made for any size, any age, using any hook size with any yarn weight. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and also leave standard size measurements so that you can make this hat for any size, any age. So be sure to check that out. And as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching! Okay, to crochet this hat, I'll be using this 5mm crochet hook, which is an H hook, and today I'm using this Erin weight yarn. You can also use any number 4 yarn or 10 ply. As always, in the information box, I leave the name of the brand of yarn that I'm using and how much yarn I used for the size that I'm making in the tutorial, so be sure to check that out. Also, in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some standard size measurements so that you can make this hat for any size, any age, using any material. Um, whether it be a light yarn or a thicker yarn with any hook size. So be sure to check out the information box for those measurements. Now, the first thing that we need to do is our brim. I already have mine done here. I used the single crochet herringbone stitch to make my brims. Now, my brim here is um, wider because I want the brim to fold. If you don't want your brim to fold and you want this to be a bit shorter or smaller, then maybe do 10 chains instead of 20 which is what i have here so here to begin into the second chain from the hook make a single crochet now to make the single crochet herringbone stitch you need to go back to this single crochet and insert your hook like this through the single crochet and then go into the next chain and make your single crochet again go back to the stitch we just finished, insert your hook like this, and insert the hook into the next chain, grab a loop, three loops, close. One more time, insert your hook through the last stitch like this, into the next chain, grab a loop, three loops, close. And this is all I'm going to do for this first row, like this. Make sure that you go through the stitch that you just did into the next chain grab a loop three loops close Here's my last chain. Insert your hook into the last single crochet and into the last chain, grab a loop, three loops close. And here's the first row. I have a total of 19 single crochets here. Now for the second row, this is your repeat row. So chain one and turn. And here, this is what we're going to do. The stitches that we're going to do are going to be worked into the back loop of each single crochet. So beginning into the first single crochet here, make a single crochet. Now into the next one, insert your hook through this single crochet that we did like this and into the next single crochet into the back loop and make your single crochet like this. And this is how we're going to continue to the end. Now you can also make this by just making single crochets, just the normal way, one single crochet into the back loop of each stitch and then chain one turn and then repeat the same thing. 
this here might be more time consuming, but the end result is very pretty. Here's the last stitch. You should have 19 stitches. So now for the third row, chain one and turn, and then you're just going to repeat the same thing. The first stitch is always just a single crochet, and then the next stitch, go through this single crochet like this and make your single crochet through the back loop of each stitch. And that's all we're going to do until we have a total of 52 rows. Now make sure that when you do your brim, it's in multiples of two. Here's the last one and the last stitch is always hiding back here. So insert your hook there and make the last stitch. Chain one turn and then repeat the same thing. Now, like I said, mine is done. I'm using this gray yarn. Now for my brim, I did a total of 52 rows and without stretching or anything, it's measuring about 15.5 inches, which is about 39.5 centimeters. This little hat that we're going to make in the tutorial is for a child between two and five years old. Now, according to standard size measurements, the head circumference for a child between two and five years old, it needs to be between 19 and 20 inches. So make sure that you stretch your brim a little little bit and then take your measurement because it is a stretchy brim. Now the best measurement would be for you to measure this around your head or your child and based on that continue and just make sure that you do it in multiples of two. So here what we're going to do next is we're going to join both ends. So this is where I started. Here's my row of chains and here's the last row. So insert your hook here into this last chain right here. Grab a loop here bring it through and chain one now insert your hook back into the same stitch here and into the last single crochet that I did for row 52 grab a loop and make a slip stitch make sure you go through the back loop like this so through the back loop of each stitch make a slip stitch and into each one of these chains make a slip stitch and this is how we're going to join both ends like this. Now continue, let's do this part and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished joining both ends. This is how it looks. Now what I'm going to do next is we're going to work half double crochets all around and we're going to make one half double crochet at the end of each one of these rows. So here we're going to chain one and immediately into this space here make a half double crochet. One half double crochet at the end of the next row one half double crochet at the end of the next row half double crochet at the end of the next row and so on so this is all i'm going to do for this row just make half double crochets now continue like this i will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where I did half double crochets all around. Up to here, I have 52 half double crochets. Now, when you do this row of half double crochets, add an extra stitch so that you finish in an odd number of stitches here. So just insert your hook right here, right before we finish and make an extra stitch. So now I have 53 half double crochets at the end of this row. Now remember, when you do the brim, make it in multiples of two, and then when you do the row of half double crochets, add an extra stitch at the end. So here to finish, just go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. This here is the first half double crochet, that's where I joined. Now from here on, I'm going to use a slightly bigger hook size. I'm going to use this 5.5 millimeter hook. You can continue with the same hook size, but I recommend that when we do these 
these front post and back post half double crochets you make them nice and loose because these stitches tend to shrink your work so to avoid that i'm going to use a slightly bigger hook size but again it's optional now to continue here with the second row chain one and beginning into the same stitch here this is the first half double crochet work a front post half double crochet the next one back post half double crochet the next one front post half double crochet and so on for this second row this is all i'm going to do front post and back post half double crochets now when i did the sweater i did this part here with double crochets the hat i'm going to do it with half double crochets because i think it's going to be warmer as you can see um, there's little holes here with double crochets so the hat i'm going to make it with half double crochets you can make it with double crochets that would be up to you so um, i am just going to make it with half double crochets continue all around i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. Now, the last stitch and the first stitch are front post stitches, which is why I needed an odd number of stitches here. Now, to finish this row, this is where I'm going to join this second color. This is the light blue. So with both colors here, I'm going to join with a slip stitch. Now, we can leave the gray yarn there we're going to need it after we finish these next two rows so here with the new color chain one and here we're going to work half double crochets all around beginning on top of the first stitch which is the same stitch where we joined make your first half double crochet on top of the next a half double crochet top of the next half double crochet and so on for this pattern you alternate between these two rows one row of just half double crochets and then in the next row you work front post and back post half double crochets and in this case we're going to be alternating colors so two rows in blue and two rows in gray now continue like this for this third row just making half double crochets i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did half double crochets all around. I have 53 stitches. From here on, we're always going to have 53 stitches at the end of every row. To finish this row with the same color here, join with a slip stitch. And now for the fourth row, chain one. And here in this row, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets. So beginning into the same stitch where we join, which is the first half double crochet, make a front post half double crochet. Into the next, make a back post half double crochet. Into the next, front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, and so on. This is all we're going to do for this fourth row continue and i'll meet you at the end of this fourth row i'm here at the end of this fourth row this is where i did front post and back post half double crochets from here on these are the two rows that we're going to repeat one row of half double crochets all around and then the next row front post and back post half double crochets now to finish here i need to join the gray color again so what i'm going to do is just go on top of the first half double crochet grab a loop with the blue yarn and grab a loop with the gray yarn in this case bring it through and make a slip stitch now with the gray yarn i'm going to repeat these two rows so chain one and beginning here into the same stitch where we joined make a half double crochet half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next and so on for this row all you do is just work half double crochets all around when you finish this row you're going to join with a slip stitch chain one and then work front post and back post half double crochets all around and then in the next two rows you're going to change to the uh, blue yarn and that's how you're going to continue for the rest of the hat you're going to continue like this until you have one and a half inches to two inches left from the total height in the information box i'll go ahead and leave you that measurement in my case I'm going to fold my brim like this and I'm going to um, take my measurement like this with the brim folded 
and then I'm going to continue until I have, like I said, one and a half inches to two inches left from the total height. The remaining inch and a half to two inches is going to be um, for us to start reducing the top of the hat. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do for my hat, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows we're going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with this part here. I have done a total of 14 rows. So from here up to here, there's 14 rows and my hat is measuring about 16 centimeters, which is about 6.25 inches. Now the total height for my hat needs to be about 19.5 centimeters or about 7.75 inches. So I have about an inch and a half left uh, to do this next couple of rows where I'm going to reduce. If you're making your hat based on standard size measurements that I left here in the information box, then start to reduce like I said when you have about an inch and a half to two inches left from the total height now if you make it a little bit longer it's okay um, with this type of brim here you can fold it a little bit more and it should also work out so um, it's okay so here let's start to reduce now I joined here the new color because I finished my last two rows in gray so with the blue color here we're going to start this first row reduction so into the first stitch where we joined right here make a half double crochet now into the next two half double crochets I'm going to work a half double crochet to together or a half double crochet decrease which is basically we're combining two stitches into one so let me show you you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch grab a loop three loops on the hook insert your hook into the next stitch grab a loop four loops on the hook close Here's our first half double crochet two together. Now we're going to repeat the same thing all around. So let me show you again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab a loop, four loops, close. And this is all we're going to do. So continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end of this first row reduction, which is row 15, to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row reduction. This is row 15. I have a total of 27 half double crochets all around. Now to finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to continue with the same color. So here, chain one. Now for this 16th row, all we're going to do is front post and back post half double crochet. So beginning here, this is the first half double crochet, work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this 16th row. At the end of this row, I'm going to have 27 half double crochets so continue like this all around alternating between front post and back post half double crochets i'll meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of the 16th row this is where i did front post and back post half double crochets all around now to finish this row just go on top of the first half double crochet and we're going to join with both colors here with a slip stitch we're going to continue with the gray yarn for the next row so with the gray yarn here chain one and now we're going to work half double crochets all around so beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet on top of the next half double crochet and so on just make half double crochets all around continue I'll meet you at the end of this 17th row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of the 17th row. This is where I did half double crochets all around. To finish this row, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row 18, chain one. In this row, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets all around. So make a front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, front post back post half double crochet continue all around I'll meet you at the end I'm here at the end of the 18th row in this row I did front post and back post half double crochets now to finish this row go on top of the first half double crochet and we're going to join with both colors here with a slip stitch 
Now I'm going to continue with the blue yarn here, so chain one. This is going to be the last row, so I'm going to work uh, half double crochet two together all around just like we did in the 15th row. So chain one, beginning here, this is the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now into the next two stitches, work your half double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook into the next, grab a loop, four loops, close. Again, into the next two stitches, yarn over, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab a loop, four loops, close. And this is how I'm going to continue all around. So continue, I'll meet you at the end of this 19th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 19th row. This is where I did a uh, half double crochet two together all the way around. I have 14 stitches. Now, if you're off by one or two stitches, more or less, it's okay. Here, we're just going to close the top of the hat. So cut your yarn, make sure you leave a nice long tail and join to the beginning with a slip stitch. Now, pull a loop like this and tie a knot. Now, with the yarn needle here, Pass your yarn through, and we're going to weave this yarn all around. Skip one stitch and into the next, insert the needle. Insert the needle through the inside here. This here is the right side. Here's the wrong side of the hat. So pull this yarn here like this. And with this loop that we made, just tie a knot. Now you can cut your yarn and hide your ends. And the hat is done. Here's the top of the hat. And this is how it looks. There, and here's the inside of the hat. Let me show you this first. This is where we were joining each color. If you were to do this in uh, one color without changing color here, this would be a nice reversible hat because as you can see, it looks very nice here on the inside as well. For me here, because we were joining, you can see where we joined the color, so it doesn't look too nice. Now we're going to turn this over. This is the right side here of the hat, and that's the top I showed you. Here's the bottom. So this hat is all done, so let me give you the measurement here. So the total height of my hat needed to be about 19 and a half centimeters, which is about 7.75 inches. And there you go, it's 19 and a half centimeters, which is about 7.75 inches. So based on these measurements, this hat here is for a child between two and five years old. Now make sure to look in the information box so that you can make your hat for any size, any age, using any hook size with any yarn. You can even use scrap yarn here because you're going to be changing color, or you can do it all in one color, which is what I did for this hat here that I did for myself. It's the same stitch pattern. I just changed it up here a little bit. I absolutely love this stitch. I love it. So if you want me to show you how to make this hat, I'll gladly go ahead and do that. Just comment below and let me know. So here's the hat. It's all done. And now you have a hat to match the little sweater that I showed you. This one here, down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave the link to that tutorial. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.